Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about one of the common issues in Revit, or I can say common requests in Revit. Many Revit users are uh, looking for a kind of solution regarding to this issue. And if you do search in internet, in different websites or blogs, you will find some workaround regarding to this issue. The issue is about the uh, about phase and demolition phase. Let me show you what is the issue. Just imagine I'm defining a wall with 4 meter height, unconnected wall, and with 4 meter length. And once I define this wall, you can see some information related to this wall in the graphic, uh, in the view, schedule and quantities. And you can see what is the area or what is the wall type and how many, how many wall we have. In For example, currently, as you can see, I have one wall, it's 16 meter area. What I want to do here is I want to define a door and then I want to say this door should get demolished in a specific phase. Uh, but before of that, I want to change the precision for area parameter here as you can see is 13 point something because of this door now before of this was 16. Now I want to say I want to get this door demolished by a specific phase and what is happening now as you can see Revit is trying to fill the opening area automatically by with same wall type and now I have actual wall which is this one and also I have a wall which is making fill here the, the request is we don't want to get this fill wall and we want to still have an open area void area here as I said, if you do search in internet, you will find some workaround. And all of those uh, solutions, we can say they have some pros and cons. For example, one of the solution is we define work set and we assign this filling wall to that work set and then say that work set should be closed. But the point is, the area information will be still here and you will get the wrong information and actually you are addressing this issue just graphically in your project. Uh, if you are going to do some export export things or something like that, also you will have you will find some problem regarding to model exports and doing coordination. And another solution which I didn't try is about you you can define another cut here by family or opening cut which uh, I believe you will address this but you have to do it manually and doing this every time for a different type of door will take a lot of time and will be time consuming and in my opinion tedious the solution is quite simple. As you can see in floor plan also, uh, that area is already filled. The solution is quite simple. And the only things you need to do is just going to a modify ribbon and saying cut. And then you can cut this one from this. As you can see, you already have a uh, opening here which is exactly matched with your door opening. The area information is gone. It's not 
here anymore and if you go to the floor plan everything is completely clear and no issue no need to do any manual thing no need to add any opening manually or assigning this um, filling wall to any work site and uh, this will work fine for walls and any families you are placing based on wall elements i should tell you if you have a floor this solution doesn't work for floor uh, it's quite simple i don't know why Revit is like this but uh, if you have two wall for example like this in Revit you can say you want to cut this wall from this one is possible sorry this one from this but uh, if you have two floor you cannot do same thing you cannot say cut for example this one from this or this one from this it's not possible anyway I truly believe uh, most of the issue is related to the wall and opening for wall and same also for window if you have a window also you can say this window should get demolished in new construction and then you can say cut this wall from the main wall for example cut from this but be careful about this uh, option if this option is not active you may get some difficulty to select that wall uh, just be sure it's on and then you can do same things and your problem your issue will get solved